Hi, welcome to South by Southwest. I'm Jai. And I'm Jade. We're here in Austin, Texas. Uh, we're, today we're talking about innovation. And I think first off, before we launch into it, I think it's important we define innovation. And when we're talking about it, we're talking about the commercial application of creativity. Uh, why don't you tell us first about what we heard about wearables today? Yeah, so wearables is obviously a big topic. We've seen so many people walking around wearing Google Glass and they uh, asked us to put our hands up if we were wearing a wearable. Every single person uh, was. So I guess what brands have realized is that they need to be tapping into the things that are closest to their consumers. Um, it, now in this market, it's wearables. In a lot of markets, it's like your smart, smartphone. Um, and, but brands are really struggling to figure out how to engage in a more a deeper level with wearables rather than just putting a stamp on it uh, and calling it a, a particular wearable. How do they get their brand message and their brand passions into the wearable experience? I think that leads into the other side of this discussion, which is really looking at innovation and how it's being driven in developing markets. So in developing markets, and we know we have quite a number in the Asia Pacific region, smartphones and other mobile technologies are almost seen as safety devices and innovation in those kind of areas is being driven from a very different human need. Uh, we saw Eric Schmidt, which was very exciting. It's my first time ever seeing such a famous person. <laughs> Um, and, and he was really clear about the fact that innovation is driven by people's needs still, rather than getting carried away with technology. Yeah, but one thing we're seeing here is how the tech, how technology is being used in innovative ways. So uh, it's the first time we've had this South by Southwest sports track here, uh, and how sports brands are using uh, technology to kind of get uh, increase the, the user experience. So for example, at the Winter Olympics, which we just had, uh, they put GoPros on the skiers, so they created some really amazing content, like getting behind what it's like to actually be a participant in the Winter Olympics, which is great for brands to be able to tie in their brand passion to, into something that people are already so passionate about. One of the other technologies we heard is about its uh, integration with golf, which is obviously a very data-driven game. Yeah. Uh, so we're seeing things where it's being placed on golf clubs and uh, Google Glass is being used on their eyesight, so golfers can actually get real-time feedback as they're playing. Sport, a big topic. Also gaming, we heard a lot about how uh, gamification is being used to kind of get consumers really interested in, in uh, participating on a deeper level. Uh, you had a lot... Yeah, we heard from uh, one of the CEOs of the largest gaming companies uh, in the world at the moment, uh, and he was really focused on making sure that innovation was still user-driven. Uh, and he made a good point, but rather than being focused on uh, technology innovations in the gaming industry, they still want to be focused on user experiences. And he talked about those in terms of mo uh, modality. And so this might be uh, lean back, which is that lounge kind of uh, lounge room experience, or lean forward, which is a PC gaming experience, or lean over, which is a mobile experience. Uh, and mobile gaming, you know, throughout Asia is huge. Uh, and I think it's a really important point that even while we're talking about innovation and technology, if we don't come back to those same basic principles around user-centric design, uh, then all the technology in the world won't solve any issues. So I guess the key messages for brands in the Asia-Pacific market would be, one, put the consumers at the center of everything you do and really think about how consumers are going to absorb your message. Is it going to be on mobile? Is it a PC? Is it through a game? I think the second point is really understand that each market's context and what technology means in that particular market. What will be innovation in Australia might be innovation in India. And I guess the third one would be get your brand as close to consumers as it could be. So now with everyone carrying a smartphone and everyone having a wearable, uh, it's so many opportunities for brands to get closer to their consumers. That's what we learned from South by Southwest. I'm Jade. This is Jai. See you next time.